Hello friends and welcome back. So today we are going to talk or we are going to discuss about this very basic question that is what is the difference between distilled water, mineral water or we can say demineralized or deionized water. Okay, so if you are working in pharmaceutical industry, so while uh, giving interview, you may get this question that what is the difference between deionized or demineralized water and mineral water or distilled water or even in practical viva questions, you may get this question. OK, so we will be discussing in short about these types of water. Right. So first is distilled water and in short, we write it as DW right? while writing. So the water that has been freed of dissolved mineral salts, organic matter, ammonia, CO2 and other impurities by distillation is the distilled water. OK, so mostly it is used as solvents in uh, experiments or practicals, right? We use even for media preparation, we use distilled water, correct? So that is why I had made this video because this is the very basic question and you may get this okay so the quality is controlled by checking its electrical conductivity and dry residue okay so an electrical conductivity is the capacity of the water to conduct electricity because of the uh, ions present okay so that is the electrical conductivity so just remember that bristol water is till a certain extent it is okay to drink uh, or we can say it is safe for drinking, but having a habit or uh, daily drinking distilled water is not good. Okay, because it is free of mineral salts and we need mineral salts in some amount. Okay, so you are not getting anything from the distilled water. So it is not that okay because it will show some effect on your body. Okay, so that was distilled water. Now next is mineral water. Okay, so what is that? So subterranean, subterranean water characterized by the high content of biologically active mineral components and or having specific physiochemical properties such as chemical composition, temperature and activity as a result of which they exert a therapeutic effect on human body. Okay, so what is subterranean water means? So basically, in short, we can say the layers of rock uh, saturated with gravity water, which forms a aquifer or bed constituting the water bearing complexes. OK, so layers which layers of rocks which are or which has got saturated by the time that and if there is a water source, then it is called as subterranean water. OK, so it has characterized by the high content of bi biologically active mineral components. OK, so due to the chemical composition of the environment or the temperature or the activity, the mineral co components which are present in the water are high. OK, and they have a very good uh, therapeutic effect on human body. Right. So this is why the mineral water is very uh, good for humans and even you had seen some TV ads which says that mineral water, they uh, do advertisement of mineral water. OK, so basically the ionic composition may vary in mineral water that can be from 300 to 400 grams per liter or sometimes even 600 grams per liter. So in this case, in 600 grams per liter, it may contain some gases of reduction conditions such as uh, hydrocarbons, hydrogen sulfides and nitrogens. OK, so this is the extra point. Uh, generally, it is obtained from a naturally occurring mineral spring or a naturally occurring source. Right. So this was about mineral water and it is good for human body. It is safe for drinking. Next is demineralized or deionized water. It is almost same in pharmaceutical industries either dm water that is demineralized water or di water diw that is deionized water is used okay so in short it is written as dm di or diw okay so to remove minerals or mineral salts from water water is passed through a bed of ion exchange resins okay so uh, the resins they exchange 
hydrogen and hydroxide ions for this for dissolved minerals okay so the exchange is going between the minerals and hydrogen and hydroxide ions from the resin okay so then uh, the when the ions they get exchange they recombine to form water okay and the resin will now exchange it will uh, catch and uh, we can remove minerals okay so this is how a deionized water is made okay so it removes mineral salts ions and nutrients to get purified water as pure as distilled water okay but the process is different here so it we cannot call it as distilled water here but it is as pure as distilled water right so remember that demineralized water or deionized water is not safe for drinking as it shows negative effect on functions in the body that control water and mineral metabolism okay so just remember that till certain extent even in some uh, beverages uh, distilled water is used so till certain extent distilled water is okay for drinking but you cannot drink demineralized or deionized water that is not safe for drinking okay so this is about types of waters you may get a question in interview or, or in your practical exams okay so i hope this is helpful thank you for watching do like my videos share my videos and do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on instagram with the same handle microbial concepts thank you